Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a budget update, so let's jump right in. Alrighty, you guys, so it is May. It's actually the first full official week of May. Today is May the 7th, so Friday, May the 7th. We do have one more day, which is May the 8th. So I did want to update you guys on the finances so far for the month of, of May. I have received a child support deposit this week. It was actually on Wednesday the 5th. Um, yes, Wednesday the 5th. It was not the amount we are used to getting. So that was a little bit different than what I am used to. Um, I don't think I've seen this amount in a while. But we do have five We not quite five weeks. We have five Sundays. Can't remember if we have five anything else. But I know we have five Sundays. So... It's going to be a little wonky with the child support because this is an uh, irregular month. But that's perfectly fine. What I try to do when I get child support that is not normal, when I say normal, what it usually is, the 216.46, I just allocate the additional funds and put them where they need to go to make up for the funds that won't come in later in the month. So we have done all of those things. And I will share with you guys what I was able to do with the child support. And then I will um, show you my personal budget sheet for the month thus far. All right, you guys. So our deposit for child support was $368.72. So $368.72. Out of that, we took tithe off the top, which was $40. So that gave us $328.72. So after we tithe, we did homeschool curriculum at $40. Now, normally I do $25. So I took out about 75%. And that gave me $288.72. The kids usually get about $25 each in their savings account, but I put $40 in their account each. So I took out the $80. Now, remember, Alana's. 40 is going into her checking account so that she can put that's going into her um, investment account and Jackson's is just going into his savings. So that put us at 208.72. I then took out $50 for Mr. Jerome to come and cut the grass, which left 158.72. Now, normally I would have taken this money and gotten gas or groceries or put it towards my car. Um, I did still did not get Jackson's birthday present. We thought we got the right thing. Ended up, we got the replacement net. We didn't get the trampoline. Thought that price was a little low. Um, 148 something was just for the, the net. So when it came and we realized what it was, we just sent it back, did a return. And um, they're going to refund that 148. In addition to the 148, I'm adding in the 158.72. And that's going to give us 306, 307, somewhere like that, which is enough for the, tr the actual trampoline, which is $309 and some change. So that'll give us just enough. I'll put like $25 to it for the tax and it should be here about the 25th. I think Shemika said it should be here about the 25th because she ordered it for us. And because um, I was doing some other stuff, didn't have time to get it ordered. So she said she would order it. And it would be totally fine. So um, this 158 went ahead to the trampoline. Now next week when I get child support or whichever the week that comes, um, I've got to pay for camp. Jackson still has two outstanding camps. So 150 for June and 150 for July. The June camp is like the end of June. So I still have plenty of time to save up money to pay for it. I did pay the deposit. But I do want to go ahead and get at least the June camp paid for. And then I'll go ahead and work on the July camp. So I'm hopeful that I didn't forget anything that I was supposed to um, pay for with child support. Usually I'm getting groceries or I'm getting gas. And so I had gas money this time and I had grocery money. So I didn't really need anything else. I did need the lawn money. I didn't have that. So I went ahead and pulled that money out of here. And so that makes everything perfectly fine. So that's what we did with the rest of the 158.72, just put that towards the trampoline, which was 309 plus tax, I ended up being like 331. So somewhere in that area. So that's exactly what we um, are paying for. 
Alrighty, you guys, so here is the budget sheet. Um, this is the budget sheet at a glance, of course. I always like to start here. So I have my actual payroll deposit is $4,787.91. Remember that includes my supplement, which was $2,600. It ended up being after taxes right around $1,800, so somewhere in there. Kids deposit, the first deposit was $368.72, and so far that is all that has come in, giving us a total income of $5,156.63. Moving down into our expenses, thus far we have paid our mortgage at $960.42. We've paid the heating and electric at $94.32. We've paid the uh, water at $58.81. I have not yet paid my cell phone bill, so that has not come out. Um, internet service, oh, oops, put that in the wrong spot. Internet service has come out at $79.99. That should be down here. I'll fix that in a sec. And then for lawn care, we've paid the 50. So Mr. Jerome will come back again in two weeks to cut the grass again. Um, moving down further. Of course, my Roth IRA comes out of sinking funds or that comes out of one mom revenue. Uh, Pure Flix is one mom revenue, but I have paid my health wage gym that has come out. Uh, the kids insurance that comes out once a year, $18 each is $36. That has come out. Taekwondo is 300. Haven't put anything towards NC taxes. Of course, that'll come out of one mom revenue. Homeschool curriculum, I usually allocate $90. I've already taken out 40. Piano lessons with Miss um, Sherry is usually 140. We had a credit from last month because we missed a, she had to cancel a class. So it's only 105. We actually had to miss another class and we'll miss another class because we have a funeral to attend. So it's gonna be a little bit less than that. Moving down into our groceries, $300 is what I allocated for groceries so far. I've taken out $200, so I do have another $100 that I can take out somewhere down the line if I have enough left in child support money or anything else that will come in. Some of the groceries, we went ahead and did the $50. Uh, grocery preps, we did the $50. You've already seen that video. Uh, restaurant meals, holiday meals, and entertainment, $50, but we took out $225. That was for Jackson's party and the food and the bowling and all of the things that went along with that or were associated. So I know it seems like he spent we spent that much on Jackson. Then um, he's getting the trampoline. Jackson doesn't always have birthday parties. I think Sarah from our tribe of many was saying her kids get parties at 10, 14 or 16 or something. She had specific ages that they actually had a party. And so Jackson is 12. He did not have a party last year. I don't even think he had a party the year before. So this was a big birthday for him the last year in the, uh, not in the teens. So it was just one of those things. Of course, our brother and sister did chip in for the um, trampoline and then mom put some in. You know, he doesn't ask a lot. Again, would I have normally spent this much? No, but we didn't do a party for him last year and it was just, you know, it was my reasonable service for Jackson. Jackson doesn't ask me to do a whole lot of things. He is just an A plus kid and I felt like we, we should do it for him at this time. Hair care, a hundred dollars. So, um, I saved Alana's 40 because I did her hair. So Jackson's 20, my hair was 50, that's 70 which leaves um, $30 left. Well, 20 of those dollars I used for grocery money. So that leaves $10 left in the hair fund, which will go for something, you know, but I saved all the money from Alana's. Um, well, actually it went towards my hair because mine was 50 and I normally budget 40 for mom. Um, doctors, the this is for the chiropractor that has not yet come out. That $95 has not come out yet. The kids' savings, that should say 80. Oh, I have to fix that. That should say 80, not 50. Let me fix that real quick, and I'll fix the other one as well. There, it's fixed now. Okay. Um, Gracie, we usually take this out of one mom revenue when we do our sinking funds. Moving down to transportation. So far, uh, gas, I took out 200. We haven't done the oil changes. That'll come out of one mom revenue. 
um, taxes. This is for car insurance. That's also a sinking fund. Car payment. Now, according to my bank statement or my online banking, it says my car, my next car payment should have came out in August. Well, <laughs> the credit union took it out in April. So 292 is what was allocated for that payment. I've paid 1200 this month. I really wanted to pay some additional and was unable at this time. I'm still waiting for my taxes to come in. Haven't heard a peep, haven't heard a word. Um, I think I've got my paperwork back like the 23rd of, of March. So it's been four weeks already. We're probably into the fifth or the sixth week. Prayerfully at some point this month, it will come. So far for tithes, I allocate 500, but we've done 800. Um, the ministry, I will actually be going to my dad's in a couple weeks. So I will do the $30 there. The baby step three, I would like to put in 250, but I have not been able to as of yet. Of course, my virtual assistant, I'll give her a hundred. And, um, so that takes us to total expenses of $4,654.50, which gives us a total overage right now of 50209. So some things have not come out just yet that I've allocated for. One thing is the cell phone bill. The other thing is the chiropractor. Um, and there's a couple more things that just haven't come out right now. So that's why that number is a little bit top heavy. It shouldn't be this heavy, but it is. Oh, I know what it was. I didn't put the money in for the um, trampoline. All right, if I put that at 158.72, which is for, I put that on the recreation for the trampoline. My cell phone is 115 plus the 95, so that's 200 right there. So that leaves about $143, and there's still some things yet that I have not allocated for. So I'm leaving that just a running total. I have paid everything else. I have um, confirmation numbers of everything. Um. So far, so good. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to worry too much because there's actually that extra $100 for the groceries is probably where that money is coming from. But I wanted to make sure that I had enough to cover everything before I took it out. So there's an extra 100 in there for the groceries. Alrighty, you guys. So that was kind of a brief overview uh, update of the finances thus far. I do want to say that the kids and I took some money out of our baby step number three. Uh, we didn't have a lot of money in there, but we had two things that happened within the past two weeks. Uh, one thing is our pastor's son passed away and um, his wife and child did not have the funds to uh, take care of all the arrangements. So the kids and I took some money out and we did uh, uh, contributed to the GoFundMe account for that. Um, the other thing is, of course, my friend Tangie and Jack Wheat over at Freedom Homestead had the house collapse incident. So the kids and I went back to um, the baby step number three and we pulled out money for that and we did a PayPal for them. Um, those are the types of things that I don't even question. I don't even think about it. I'm just like, okay, what can we do? We are very low in our baby step number three right now. That is neither here nor there. We are still going to get back on track. It's no problem. Sometimes things come up and you need to step up where you need to step up. And so that's just what we needed to do. And it is going to be perfectly fine. Um, just that was kind of given a little bit more of an overview. We didn't have a lot of money in there because I have been focusing everything towards that car so far. And I'm so close. Right now we owe $1,578 and some, some change. That may not be the exact payoff, but that's what I see in my bank when I go to look at my online uh, transactions. So I'm leaving it um, prayerful that additional monies will come in as far as child support because all the stuff I need to pay for Homeschool curriculum is just 50 more dollars. Um, for the kids, it's 120 more dollars for their savings goals. And so anything else that comes in, I'm just going to put a little bit here and a little bit there to the car as I'm able. Uh, my uh, uh, YouTube AdSense looks very good coming in. It's not as much as it was the last time, but it looks good thus far. So I'll be able to... Um, do all of the things I need to do for this next month, including the camera syncing fund 
and put a chunk over to the car. So I will be able to put something to the car this month. I also get my uh, $1,000 supplement from our county. We get another supplement in the end of May. And so I'll be able to chunk some of that to the car payment. So I'm not worried about it. You know, the Bible tells me in Philippians 4, 6 through 9, don't worry about anything, but in all things with prayer and supplication, make your requests be known to God. And then you think about all the good things. Think about the fact that God has already provided you to pay off this much. And um, I had um, my maintenance required light came on in my car. And of course, when I see lights in the car, I'm like, oh, no, I don't. Mm, this is why I just got a new car. Well, I need to get my tires rotated. And um, the lady said, oh, no, Miss Wilson, you're fine. It's just your tires need to be rotated. And it's covered with the warranty that I have and in, in everything. So I'm taking it on Saturday. I'm going to get tires rotated. The little light is going to go off and life will be well. So I'm going to think about all of those things. I'm going to think about the fact that the kids and I have groceries. Even though grocery prices are going up, this girl's about to get back on her coupon game. I'm about to hit CVS and Walgreens. Like a whole new situation is going on as far as paper products and body washes and shampoos, all of those things, because I'm going to start going back and following Coupon and Crystal. I think Sisters Saving You Scents, they do those stores. And then um, My Own Identity, Michelle over there, I mean, they be killing the game, okay? Shakima's about to go watch some videos from them, and I'm about to get my whole life together. Thank you so much to those of you who still continue to send us coupons. We haven't couponed in a long time like we used to. We'll do here and there when we're able, but I've been shopping at Aldi. You can't use coupons at Aldi, but I'm getting ready to get back on my CVS and Walgreens game because that's going to help me save because I buy all those personal product, products and items in with my groceries. So I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to um, be able to save some. I went to CVS the other day, we were over there for something and I was looking for some matte lipstick. I really love a matte lip and I had been trying um, a more, is it a more? I don't even wanna say it wrong cause I'll say it so wrong. But I had been trying something from Walmart, but it, I tried it one time and then I went back to look for it. They did not have it. And I've been looking, um, I know Shannon Wilson Williams does um, Sarcastic Cosmetics and I love her stuff, but it's a little bit more expensive than I can pay. So um, I just happened to be over on um, looking at one of these little counter things that had the matte lipstick. I was actually looking for Rimmel. I think it was. They didn't have that. They had one called Joa. I think it's jo J-O-A-H. Well, the, the deal was spend $12, get eight extra care bucks. And so I was able to get a matte lipstick and then a liquid matte. And I think I paid like $13. I got $8 back in extra bucks and then I was able to get a liquid eyeliner for like $7 and some $8 and some change. So I, in that $13, I got three products and I wouldn't have been able to get that even at Walmart. So I'm getting back on my game. I really do love a matte lip though. So um, I'm glad I found this and um, it's going to work for me, but I'm going to be doing everything I can after the month of May because I don't get any paychecks in June and July. There's no paycheck that comes in this house in June or July. I do get some funds because every month I have the credit union take out a little bit. Um, they take out a little bit less than $400 every month and put it in my summer share account. That money is split in half in June and I get the other half in July. And that's how we live. Um, that's how we live for the summer. Um, I may not be getting my hair done in the summer. Of course, I do the curly girl thing and it's, it works out fine. I have um, a gift card, a gift certificate to go and get my feet done that I got from a favorite things party at the church. And that was one of the gifts I got was a gift certificate for to get my, my toes done. So that's how I'm going to pay for that because I'm it's Mother's Day weekend. I did get my hair done. I got a little color too. If you can see it, it's a little light color, but it's just a rinse. It's not even like a color color. It's just a rinse, but um, just to add a little something. Uh, so that's how I'm doing it, but we are making it do with what we have. One of the things... Um, and again, I don't like to do negative comments because it just, it takes me to a whole nother level. But somebody said, um, and I deleted the comment. It was fine. They said, um, you do dry begging for people to send you money. And you know, most of the people who watch you are struggling. And the truth of that is, I do know that people who watch me 
are either in my situation or have been in my situation or in the situation I was in when I first started YouTube. So I'm very careful about suggesting products or saying, go and go out and buy this, or I put a link in the thing, you know, because I don't want people to give their monies. You're, you need your funds to take care of your family. But I will say this, it's taken us a long time to get to this point, but God is, has blessed us, not necessarily with money. That's not the blessing. The blessing comes in when you understand how to make your money work for you and you're not necessarily always working for your money. So I'm able, even today, I was telling Alana, cause she's like, let me move some money over. I said to her, uh, ma'am, we are not going to be in this habit where every week you is moving money over so you can go spend. I said, did you even write down your pay information? Did you write down how much you need to tithe, how much you are taking out, what's left? You have, there is some work that goes into this because I don't want her to get into the habit of just, okay, let me just move money. And then when she gets bills, she doesn't even know if she has money or not. She's getting ready to take driver's ed. Driver's ed, she paid for $68. She had to pay for her driver's ed. If she wants a car, she's going to have to pay for insurance. I, Mom, I haven't paid for one yet and don't plan on paying for this one. So she's going to have to budget her monies. Also a vehicle. Um, I talked to her dad. I said, listen, what are we going to do? Because she would be the one who would need the help. But she works a job. And so she can save and she might not get like a 2000 whatever I got, but she'll get something. And so here, here it is. She can pay and put aside her little coins. Um, I'll still be taking her to work because she won't do her driving part for a while. But that's fine. She's just going to be saving up that money. And um, when she's able, she'll be able to get a vehicle. But the vehicle requires gas. It requires maintenance. It requires insurance. And she's going to have to pay for that. So I was saying to her, listen, we got to do this. So I just want you guys to know that I realize that some of you are where I was so there's never anything about, um, I need you to buy this product or if you buy this, they're going to give me 20% on my link or whatever. The only affiliate links I have in my description box is I have an Amazon store, which I haven't put anything in there and I don't know how long, good granny. And then I also have the Paper Sunday. If you've used our Paper Sunday link, that just helps put a little bit of income into this budget so that the kids and I are able to do some additional things. There is no requirement that you use our link. You can go to Paper Sunday on your own and not use a link at all if that works for you. But if you have used the link, we do appreciate that. And again, it does help us, you know, on our side of it. Um, I've got business cards done. I am actually doing a speaking engagement this month. And I know when I go to the speaking engagement that they will take care of me as far as a love offering. I don't ask for an honorarium. Some people say, okay, for me to come, it's going to cost this and I'm going to need a hotel and y'all going to pick me up. You know, I drive my own vehicle. I put my own gas in it. I go the morning of because it's close enough for me to, to get there. It's a couple hours. I still have to drive, but I, uh, I pay my own expenses and I've been there before and they have been uh, very gracious to always give me a love offering. There's even been people that have just walked up to me after they've taken up the love offering and we leave in church and just do a little church handshake and put a little something in your hand. I'm thankful for that. They don't have to do that. They've already given into that offering or what have you. And if they choose not to give into that, whatever. I am not a money grubber. I am just not. Um... I'm just not. I I need money to be able to make this us live and pay the bills and stuff. But that's the sum total of it. I always ask the Lord. I said, God, if you gave me money, what would I do with it? And I know what I would do. I just give it away. I find people who need stuff and I just be able to be a blessing to folks. Um, that way. But sometimes you can't just give folks. You got to teach people how to use what they have. Because if you always constantly give into them, then they may not know how to use their funds. I've been on my soapbox long enough. So there it is, you guys. That is our budget update for the week. I will be coming to you guys with another video. It is going to be a review. Um, someone sent this to me in the mail. I'm so thankful, but I'm going to be doing a review review for the, on, on a budget mom product, not for the budget mom. She didn't send it to me. Um, as far as I know, she didn't. Um, <laughs> but somebody else sent it to me. I think, I hope, I don't know. Um, but it came in the mail 
and um, I am using it. So I did want to share that with you guys. I'm also going to be doing a couple other videos for you guys. So anywho, there it is. Be looking for quite a few videos coming out from me in the next little bit. We do want to appreciate you guys so much for stopping by. If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, we uh, love to keep you as a part of our YouTube community. Also hit that little bell. That way you never miss an upload from us. We're so very thankful and blessed to have you in our life. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.